Hello there, welcome to the news in brief from PEP about television. My name is Omo Ikayere. First, the headlines. Senate proposing 376 new agencies, Sean's Oronsai reports. Edo State Government and India explore investment opportunities in manpower development, amongst others. Anti corruption coalition demands suspension of permanent secretary, Mrs. Ngege. Compared, Iziguzo Lord's Edo NUJ initiative calls for submission of journalist names in Nigeria. And man kills his girlfriend with pestle, sells her cars, phones, and others. Those were the headlines. Now the details. The Senate has proposed the establishment of 376 new agencies and institutions. The Senate made the proposed despite moves by the federal government to restructure the public service in line with Steve Oronsayed Committee's report on restructuring and rationalization of federal government parastatus agencies and commissions. The reports. The Oronsaya report recommended the scrapping or merging of some ministries, departments, agencies in order to reduce costs of government. A white paper committee set up by the federal government to review the parastatus agencies and commissions created since 2014 submitted a draft report in August. The federal government also in November last year inaugurated the subcommittees headed by former heads of service of the Federation Buka Aji Ama Pepper and Oladipo Afolabi on the implementation of the Oransayas report. While the Ebele OKK committee was to draft a white paper on the Ama Pepo Committee report and to harmonize the committee's reports. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boz Mustafa, had said that the federal government would soon conclude the process of restructuring the public service. However, investigations indicate that the Ninth Senate has passed a total of 1070 bills, including 376 establishment bills for the creation of various institutions. The Edo State Government, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, has said his government is exploring investment opportunities to sustain the gains recorded by his administration in boosting technical education and vocational training, TVET, as well as human capacity development, among others. The governor stated this when he received the Consul General of India, Mr. Chan Demroon Kane who led other top Indian government officials on a casi visit at the government house in Benin City. Favor Percy Edubo completes the story. The governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseke, said his government is finalizing plans with the government of India to train more teachers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to boost the capacity of civil and public servants to groom more youths on technical and vocational skills. He also noted that the state government wants to start with programs that already exist so that they can quickly key into it and start start their relationship from there. Obaseke revealed that one of the quickest challenge to industrialization faced by his government is that the Nigerian education system, unlike India, has not emphasized technical training enough. Earlier, the Indian Consul General, Mr. Chandor Moli, Ken, while commending the governor's sustained investment in the state, noted that Edo State is taking a similar developmental roadmap like India, especially in areas of educational reforms. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. For alleged complicity in violation of provision of Public Procurement Act 2007, the federal government has been called upon to, as a matter of necessity, suspend the permanent secretary in the Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment, Mrs. Ibi Nigigi, the report. The call was made by the Coalition of Anti-Corruption Network of Nigeria, which frowned at the unpatriotic action of Mrs. Evelyn Ngige, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Trade and Investment. The group made the call following an investigation carried out by the Nigeria Police Force in tandem with the petition submitted by Phantom Digital Technology Services Limited through East Lawyer indicting top ministry officials of violating 
violating the mandatory provision of the Public Procurement Act of 2007. According to the coordinator of the coalition, Comrade Abdullahi Ibrahim, who spoke to journalists in Bauchi, the group is shocked that despite the anti-corruption war of Buhari's administration, top government officials still involved in sharp practices. He said that the alleged violation of public procurement acts of government will continue to work against the anti-graft agenda of the federal government. Favor Percy Idubo, PEP about television. The president of Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ, Kormit Chris, Isiguzu, NFR, has called for the immediate compilation of submission of names of journalists in Nigeria Union of Journalists across its chapters and chapel lines. Isiguzu made this call during the recently held National Executive Council NEC meeting in Benin City. The reports. Isi Guzo, while acknowledging the initiatives of Comrade Festus Alenke led Edo NUJ in his giant strike of putting together a compendium of journalists in the state, a move he said the national executive would consider adopting called for the submission of names of journalists from chapels in 36 chapters in Abuja. Comrade Isi Guzo noted that this move helped equip the union in answering the long age questions of who a journalist is, as well as equip the union with data relevance for decisions that border on the welfare and well being of journalists across the country. Uh, our council to quickly submit lists of authentic members of the union across chapels and of course councils across the country. Already the National Secretariat has approved the compendium arrangement that is being put together by a new council. But while that is being worked out, the list of journalists from different chapels, chapel by chapel, must get to the National Secretary to retain seven days. Next meeting is the highest decision-making organ of the NUJ. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. Thank you very much, Favor Percy, for that report. And finally, operatives of Police Intelligence Response Team has arrested a 31-year-old man, Ede Tochiku, who allegedly killed his lover, 48 year old Ijoma Phyllis, in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The duo were said to have met via a Facebook group. The reports. The suspect, who was paraded at the intelligence response team office in Abuja, confessed to having hit the victim with a pistol during an alleged violent argument at her two-bedroom apartment in Lugwe area of the Federal Capital Territory on October 24, 2022. The suspect said that after hitting the victim, he took the Toyota Camry belonging to the disease along with her phones and some other belongings before leaving the house. He noted that he was arrested on November 2nd after changing the car documents and selling it for 1.7 million naira. Recounting his version of the story that led to the death of Ijoma, he said that both of them had an argument over a Toyota Highlander she had given him which he sold without having her consent. Speaking with newsmen, the victim's elder sister said she got to know of the gruesome mother of her sister after she received a call from the caretaker of the house where she lived. Ade Joby stated that investigation is still ongoing and warned the public to be cautious on their activities on social media as the suspect and victim met on Facebook. Favor Percy Idubo, PEP about television. And on that sad story, and today's news in brief from Pep about television, my name is Omo Ikeade. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.